I am Adil Kumar. This video is for my students who want to understand limits for trigonometric functions. We started with very basic functions and now we are entering into the domain where some trigonometric identities may be applied to simplify the expression and then find the limit. So I have an example here which is we need to evaluate limit as theta approaches 0 for 1 minus cos 2x divided by x square. Now a very similar question is repeated here. The only difference is instead of 2x we have just x. So we need to find limit for 1 minus cos x over x square when theta approaches 0. Let us see how to solve such questions. Now uh, first we need to simplify. Let's understand what is cos 2x. So we'll do this uh, review on few trigonometric identities and then simplify. Cos 2x could be written as uh, in different forms. Uh, we could write this as cos square x minus sine square x squared. We could also write this as if I write cos square x as 1 minus sine square x, right? So if I write this as 1 minus sine square x, then we could also write this as 1 minus 2 sine square x. Do you get the idea, right? So, so that is how actually we can simplify cos 2x. It could be written as 1 minus 2 sine square x. So this is what cos 2x could be written as. We have 1 minus cos 2x. So, so let me bring this 2 sine square x to the left side. So we write 2 sine square x equals to 1 minus cos 2x. Is that okay? So this is the trigonometric identity which you could apply to solve such questions. That is to say 1 minus cos 2x is 2 sine square x. So that is how we could simplify it. Now it is interesting to know that if I write this right side as 1 minus cos, instead of 2x, if I write 4x, then what? Then I have replaced x rather 2 times 2, 4, right? So I'll write this as 2 sine square 2x. Do you see that? So I could also write 1 minus cos 4x in this term. Similarly, I could also write, let me write this expression, 1 minus cos x. How will I write 1 minus cos x? Well, cos 2x was sine square x, so it will be 2 times sine square, how much? Half of this, half of this, right? So it is x by 2, do you understand? So that is how we could write. So in general, in general, I could write this expression as 1 minus cos theta as 2 times sine square theta by 2. I hope this point is clear, right? So let me make this as our basic identity, right? General identity. So you could convert theta to half theta, half of the angle. Now that helps to find limits for such functions, right? That is why we took it up. Now, let's see how. So I'll do the first one. I will go slow. Let's understand the whole process. So 1 minus cos 2x could be written as limit theta approaches 0. 1 minus cos 2x is 2 sine square x. We'll write 2 sine square x over x square. Is it okay? Now, 2 is a constant. So I could write 2 here, so we can write this as 2 times limit theta approaches 0 for sine square x over x square. Correct. Can you find the limit now? It should not be difficult. We could do, take this as sine x over x, right? So I could write this as 2 times limit theta, I mean this should be x, right? Not theta. Okay, sorry x right so it should be x same argument correct so x approaches 0 so this should be x not theta is it okay okay let me make this correction for sine x over x whole square 
Now that is limit of this, you know, is one, right? So this could be written as we change the ink to the limit. So we could take the limit inside. So we could write this as limit x approaches zero for sine x. I mean sine x over x whole square, right? And that is this is one, you know. So it is two times one, and so you get two as your answer. So we could write this as equals to correct so that is how you can find limit of this function right i hope the steps are clear to you follow these steps and do the next question that's kind of tricky okay that is a test question for you you can pause the video answer this question and then look into my suggestion okay so this is how i will do it so we can write this as limit i'm sorry for this mistake it should have been x right x approaches zero now, 1 minus cos x could be written as 2 sine squared x by 2. So, it is written as 2 sine squared x by 2, right? And then we have x squared in the denominator, right? Now, we could write this as limit x approaches 0. This 2 is constant. I'll bring it out. And what we have here is limit. And... Uh, we have a sine x by 2 over x whole square and well okay there's no need to write this I'll took limit inside so let me write x approach is 0 here okay is that okay so so basically I took 2 outside wrote 2 here limit of this particular function whole square now we know limit of sine x by 2 over x by 2, that is 1, not x. So let's change this. So we'll have 2 times limit x approaches 0. So I write this as sine x by 2 over. If I want to write divide this by x by 2, I have to multiply this also by, by half, right? So I'm dividing this by 2, I have to divide numerator also by half. Is that okay? That is what we get square now this portion as you can see this portion is 1 correct and therefore I could write this as 2 times half square is it okay so that is equals to 2 times 1 over 4 or is equals to half so limit of this function is indeed half that is how you get it Right. Now, you could make it general. For example, you can find limit of this function for cos mx. It could be anything, right, over x squared. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you, and all the best.